Hi there, folks. Welcome back to another Bedtime with Bosch. I'm Jacob of the Rockefeller String Quartet. And for today's deviation from the original Bach formula, I have something just a little bit different for you. This is an etude by French composer Jean-Louis Duport. Duport was a French cellist and composer born in the middle of the 18th century and roughly shares the same time period as Mozart and Beethoven. Duport was born in Paris and like Beethoven and most any person in that part of the world at the time, he felt the influence of Napoleon. When he met the emperor in person, he even requested to try out his cello. Dupont at the time had his own custom Stradivarius cello, and so he was reasonably concerned about handing it over to the most powerful man on the planet. And sure enough, rumor has it that Napoleon managed to dent the cello during the exchange, a dent that is still visible 200 years later. Dupont is one of the earliest cellists of merit to write studies for the cello. Compared to the violin, cello pedagogy is still much younger. And in Dupont's time, the cello had yet to really fully emerge as uh, a a credible solo instrument. But uh, following Dupour, uh, however, the number of pedagogical works for the cello greatly multiplied. Uh, the etude I'm going to play for you today is number seven from his book of 21 studies. So why this particular etude? Well, for one, along the cello etude spectrum, this etude contains enough musical character to pass as a short piece. And it also occupies a unique position among the cello etudes in that it serves as a sort of template for the practice of numerous bow techniques. Um, so I will, when I begin playing, I'll play the original, a uh, few measures to show how it was originally written, and just a few deviations of technique followed by uh, the etude in its entirety in a style that I like to see and think of as perhaps the most uh, melodic and harmonically supportive. I hope you enjoy. So this is the original writing of Dupour's Etude number seven. <laughs> And so that can be uh, differentiated in any number of ways. Uh, and this next one is, I suppose, my preferred way, again, for emphasizing the melodic quality. Thank you. 
Thank you.